Yo, what is up everyone? This is your boy Nemesis and welcome to another Tekken 7 YouTube video and today we're talking about my boy, my main, my favorite character in the Tekken franchise, Lars Alexanderson. It's been a while since I've really made a video on Lars, now that I think about it. Hmm, been hoeing too much with characters in this game. Okay, so today we're talking about the state of Lars in Tekken 7 Season 4, like just how good he is in season 4 like where he stands in the tier list in my opinion you know just how good is Lars because Lars is one of the most underused characters in Tekken like since launch in Tekken 7 which is really crazy considering how popular this character was in Tekken Tag so Lars in my opinion is a very very good character he's very underrated and very underused most of the underused characters in this game are actually really strong but since no one uses them, no one really knows just how strong they are. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, characters like Eddie and Miguel come to mind. I'm actually going to make a video on the top 5 most underrated Tekken 7 characters, probably after this. So yeah, characters like Miguel are like really good, but really underrated. So the same thing applies to Lars. So Lars, in my opinion, is a very strong character in Season 4. <coughs> He's been getting some seriously good buffs since season season, season 2. He got a transition from Silent Henry to DE, which opened up the possibilities of instant flaws like you know the CE CE2. Like sorry if I mistake the dynamic entry for silent entry, like I always confuse the two. Uh, he got his down to buffed, became zero, from, I believe minus one. I think yeah he's down back one three became plus one now from I think zero or minus one as well uh, his dynamic entry two uh, was now minus twelve which is huge considering it's a counter hit launcher all right uh, he got a new backlash from dynamic entry as well he got a new tail spin recently which opened up the possibilities of combos and made him like one of the best if not the best war carrying monsters on Tekken 7. So he's got a significant amount of buffs like this character has got a shitload of buffs a few nerfs uh, he got his down for two back his old down for two not as good but it's still a buff either way. <clears throat> so Lars is a very strong character the only downside to his game plan is that he's a risky character. He's very risky. All his biggest laws are launch punishable, right? They are very launch punishable. But a Lars, a smart Lars player knows that these problems can be mitigated by his very strong mids. Think of Heihachi, right? Heihachi is a character that has really, really scary mids. Like his mids are super strong, but all his laws are really bad to the point that they are all launch punishable. It's the same concept with Lars. He actually is a little bit better because he has like electric, you know, his jabs are really strong. <coughs> he's a Mishima, he has a wave dash, so he's a tad better than Lars, but the game plan is pretty much the same. Alright, threaten them with the big mids. The big mids, you know, the orbitals. Right? If they stop ducking, be smart with the laws. Just know when to place your laws and do not be obvious, right? A good Lars player knows this. So in my opinion, Lars is really strong, and if you are a Lars main, you have no excuse to not play this character, right? There are not a lot of pro players that use this character, but those who do have done well in tournaments. Uh, Cherry Berry Mango, uh, he, he had a tournament a few months back where he picked up Lars. I believe he came out, I think, third, that was third or second place. I think he, he lost to Low High, but he did very well. It was like a very close set, you know. He, it was legit bro, like Lars did work, right? He recently won an EVO Online, I think, EVO Online, was it, what, North America or something? He recently won an EVO Online tournament, I don't know from which region, but Lars actually won an EVO Online tournament, which was crazy, right? Nobi is playing Lars, he's playing Lars, Steve and Feng as well. So Lars is a strong character. He's a really strong character. You have no excuse to not play Lars. I really don't know what else to say about this character, but he's really good. Uh, his damage is off the charts. His war carry, like I said, is insane. You know, he has a new 111, which makes his counter hit game really better than it has ever been before. 
right? Everyone wants that range zero counter eight two. It might not be a mid. You know, it might be counter eight confirmable, but it's a counter eight two, which is good enough considering Lars. His game plan is mainly on his lows and not like counter eight fishing and all that stuff. So he's really good. He has four power one plus two, which is a really good move. You know. One of his biggest weaknesses is his tracking. His tracking move, his, sorry, his tracking is kind of bad. I agree with that. Um, he has back one, which is a decent homing move, right? Um, but one of the moves that's really talked about about Lars is All Standing Two. All Standing Two actually tracks both sides. Which makes it basically a very good homing move. And the good thing about All Standing Two is that it has a transition to dynamic entry. Meaning it has a possibility of you going low or going mid and mix ups. So Lars is a solid character guys. He's a very solid character. He is just underused and underrated in my opinion. So the state of Lars in season 4 is a, he's in a very good place in my opinion. If I would want anything changed about Lars it's just the homing moves like I would want something like back 3 to be homing right it would work like Lars back 3 except instead of Lars having back 10 he'd have the transition to dynamic entry right so it would act as a mix up if they don't duck you get the mix up if they duck you get punished back 3 on its own cannot be safe or it can be safe either way Back through your payment would be a good perfect hobby move for Lars. Would it make him too OP or too strong? It would be perfect. But I love Lars. Like I can go into Tekken 8 saying I was the Lars main in Tekken 7. I really think he's in a good place. I have fun with him now. I have been playing a lot of Tekken as you can see from my channel. But every time I play Tekken now recently, I just play Lars. Like he's he's really fun with the combo system. <sighs> It's crazy. Oh, and the new Rage Driver though. I didn't talk about the Rage Drive. The new Rage Driver though makes his mix-up game really scary, right? Because you don't know if you do the law or go for the other Rage Drive, right? And the good thing is that you can always mix it up. You can go mid or if you actually can do the CBM special. Cancel the DE into an Arc Blast, the YOLO. So it's... He's a very good character, guys. You know, do not always trust... <coughs> Excuse me, I have a really horrible flu. Do not always take the opinions of pro players to heart. We know they are not always right. Why? Right? We, we all know the Lars is dead. The Shaheen is dead to it, right? We all know Nii is saying Steve is unusable. He's not usable anymore, right? Jack has been nerfed, but Jack's still doing well. Dragano still doing well. Katarina is still doing well. You know, do not always take the opinions of pro players. Just use the character you love and you do well in this game. So that's my video boy, I just really wanted to, just felt like talking about, you know, my boy, show him some love, he's a really good character, so if you're a Lars man and you find yourself watching this video, take my word for it, Lars is a very strong character, just put some time in him, you know, watch a few matches, um, dedicated Lars players such as um, Eotrain, uh, what's his name again, he, sh he usually by, takes part in this, uh, uh, who is the night fight tournaments? What's his name again? Locomotive? I don't know, L-Train or some shit. He's a really good Lars player. Uh, CBM sometimes plays Lars. Not many Lars players out there like Nobi. Every time Nobi plays Lars, just watch. He gets some inspiration, gets some motivation. Because I know it can be tough with Lars if the player is busy blocking your laws. But just try to play smart. He's a very strong character, guys. Believe me. So that's my video, boys. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, my next video is talking about the top 5 most underrated Tekken characters. I'll probably do a double upload. And I'll also do some Genshin stuff in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and GG. On yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love